to a very interesting episode of Codename New to Vero 2. Hi, I'm your presenter, Shabu RU. Now, when I say interesting, we're not going to be looking at a franchise that was popular in the 80s or early 90s. No, we're actually going back further to 1954. Now, this was part of, you know, I guess the trailblazers to one of the iconic movie monster franchises. Now, to many of you, this is nothing new, but a lot of millennials and maybe some of you forgot, and thanks largely to a 2019 release of Godzilla, King of All Monsters, there's kind of a somewhat of a renewed interest. And I'm going to be honest with you, the 1998 movie starring Matthew Broderick and then the 2014 movie, um, well, let's put it this way. Godzilla has been a victim of Hollywood slash Western interpretation of the character. Now, when you watch the old stuff, they may be cheesy now because it's essentially a guy in a suit, but you have to understand that's what makes it beautiful is there is that authenticity and there's that organic where everything is CGI. And like the 1998 movie, it was just CGI'd the hell out of it. And there's no feel. And that's why those movies and the Western interpretation, I think, stink. Is that it doesn't have that feeling of Godzilla. Um, I think they're not scary. You know, we've been desensitized so much that these movies, when you watch them again, they're not scary. But they're a piece of movie-making history. And this is all before George Lucas, Star Wars, all of that other, you know, stuff that followed in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. But Godzilla has spanned over 35 movies. So how does that relate to retro toys? Huh, I'm glad you asked. Well, recently, Bandai has released Godzilla figures. And... In one video, I said the 2018 Mattel slash um, Matchbox collaboration for the Jurassic World Legacy was probably the toy of the year. I think 2019 Godzilla by Bandai is going to make a case. I mean, we'll, we're just starting off the year. We'll see what happens. But wow, I'll show you why these figures are amazing. As mentioned, in 1954, The Legend of a Godzilla first appeared on film. The original film came out in black and white. Now remember, this is post-World War II, and much of Japan was still under rubble from the U.S. bombing. It is my belief that Godzilla was a metaphor of the United States' atomic bomb, a power that wasn't fully understood and led to destruction of Nagasaki and Hiroshima. The lines between good versus evil are not so clear cut, but a result of situations. This ideal would play out in all the other following Godzilla movies. He started out as the destroyer and the monster, but through time in the other movies, Godzilla would become an ally. Godzilla went through the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and the 2000s in over 35 films. Of course, Hollywood would take a few cracks at bringing the iconic monster to the West, and each decade an attempt was made. Most recently, a 1998 film that was so bad, the monster looked like shit and the acting was shit as well. It was really, really bad. In 2014, Another attempt was made, and that movie was pretty decent and starred uh, Brian Crankston, and it had a good storyline and everything, and I think this new movie is kind of piggybacking off of that. So we'll see how the 2019 movie fares. So in preparation for the new film, Bandai has released a new series of Godzilla figures. Just following, I guess, Mattel's Example for the uh, Jurassic Park Legacy Collection, they're paying homage to the classic Godzilla figures. And just like the Mattel version for Jurassic Park, these 
are exceptionally detailed and well done, paying proper tribute to that iconic franchise. Okay, so we're going to do a simple unboxing of this figure and go over some of the details I think worth noting. Um, again, this is Bandai, which is kind of cool. As one of the toy makers, I think Bandai has always been, you know, pretty good with their lines. Of course, they are famously known for the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So, again, I think you could use this. I'll bring it closer in a little bit. Um, but just to give it to scale, I'll show you. Here is Sergeant Slaughter. And here is the Jurassic World T-Rex that was featured earlier in an earlier video, eating crystal ball, which I know a lot of people would love to see. <laughs> but anyway, you could see that uh, you know, the details on the figure, you know, it's movie quality too. I mean, you could put this in I could imagine them using this instead of the guy dressed up in the outfit, but I think this is a great to add into any collection. It's just having Godzilla on the shelf is one of those things you can't pass up. You just, you know. I mean, obviously it's not to scale because Godzilla was huge and humans were like ants compared to Godzilla, but um, that just gives you an idea. I even think this is one of the those little dinosaurs in Jurassic World. I think Godzilla was bigger than yeah, the way the movie made him, the people look like ants compared to him. But anyway, it's a nice little figure and I think it's worth noting and worth picking up if you're able to find it. The details are really nice. The scales, you know. Well, I think that's pretty cool. That's my quick little video about this new Godzilla figure. Um, I just It's just starting to appear on store shelves, so you know I'm sure there's gonna be different sizes and more figures, but right now it seems like it's mostly the Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla, because they have King Caesar, as I showed the picture of, and Mecha Godzilla as well. Again, other stores may have different you know, from the movies. I, I haven't gone online and seen the entire line yet, but I'm sure, you know, it's Godzilla, so they probably have Mothra and all the other char iconic uh, characters. But again, what's interesting about Godzilla is he's an anti-hero, so that's what makes his character so appealing. It's like, you know, kind of like that whole Wolverine and you know Deadpool type of stuff but it's a dinosaur or a monster or whatever but anyway that's my review and I hope you liked this video I hope it was helpful and if you're out there think about picking up Godzilla because he'll be good out there protecting your collection thank you and have a wonderful day